And you know, I always like to talk about pensioners and older people. Yeah? You know, it's, it's actually a good thing that, obviously it's a good thing that we got elders around us. Yeah? The elders around us are supposed to teach us what not to do, like the, the things to avoid or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of elders uh, don't know where they've gone wrong. Yeah. That That's why they're pensioners and that's why in the winter they can't afford to heat their home. Yeah. And what's great about having elders is if you don't, if you if you don't know where you're headed in life, yeah, if you don't know where you might end up when you're 60 or 70 years old, yeah, whatever job you're working, yeah, if there's an older person there who's even 50 years old, yeah, if you're 30, if, so if you're 20 something and you're working at a job and you have no direction, you have no plans, you're just working a job to get your money and survive, yeah. It's not a case of you working this job, saving up, going to do something with that money and get a better job and start your own business. No, you just literally work in this job and that's, and that's you. Yeah? You pay your bills, go out on the weekend, go back to work on Monday. Yeah? If you're 25, 30, 35, whatever, it? if you don't know where you're going to be, just look at someone, one of your colleagues or even your, your, your manager, yeah? your supervisor, whatever, it? Yeah? just look at where they are in life. Look at how much they're earning. That's going to be you. Yeah? If you don't know where you're headed in life, yeah, you have no direction, you just work a job, just nine to five, whatever, and you don't take life seriously, whatever. If you don't know where you're headed, just look at your parents. Yeah? If they're not doing too well, if you would want to be in their position, yeah, you whatever path they took, get off that path. Get the fuck off that path, yeah? Imagine that path is flipping molten lava, yeah? Imagine that path is hot rocks and you're barefooted, yeah? Get off that path. You don't want to be on that path because you're going to end up just like them. Do you really want to be 50 years old or 40 grand a year? Really? Driving a Toyota in the middle of nowhere like Northampton? No. So... That's why it's good to watch and observe the elders around, yeah? And if you look at the elders around you and you think to yourself, I don't want to be like that, that individual, yeah? Whatever path they've taken, don't take that path because you'll be right where they are. What, 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 what else is going to be your outcome? You can have no other outcome except where they are, yeah? And said, no, I'll be 50 and have my pockets full. That's what I'm saying, fam. Look, at the end of the day, right, the thing is, right, about getting to 50, you, you could be 25, whatever, in it, and you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and you, you ain't really, you ain't made it to where you want to make it to at the age of 50, but you have to still keep on pushing. The guy who, the KFC man, he started his business when he was in his 60s, yeah? You don't know when your time is going to come, yeah? Now, I'm not talking about the supernatural, yeah, but what I'm saying is you don't know when the opportunity is going to come, but the main thing is you need to keep on going, yeah? You can't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. If you, give up if you want. Give up if you want, but you're just going to be like all those old people around, yeah? You are just waiting to die. Waiting to die, yeah? There, there's an old Chinese man right across the street. I mean, I got a good, good throw on me. I could throw a stone and hit his window. I, I, if he was at his window right now, he could see me. Yeah, he lives right opposite me right now. Yeah, this old Chinese man, whether he's bought his house and he owns his own property and his property is heated up and he don't freeze in the, in the winter. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's. Worse than worst case scenario, yeah? <laughs> yeah. The man all day long, yeah, not all day long, sorry. Once, once a day or twice a day, I'll see him, yeah. He ain't got nothing else to do with himself. You know, he just, he just walks around like this with his hands behind his back, just goes for a walk around the estate because the, the guy ain't got nothing to do. 
then you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like that. You want to be in a position when you're old, you've got so much money, you can just go and do foolishness. You don't even want to be at home. You don't even want to be at home. You want to be on a fucking uh, 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 an island, uh, lying in a hammock or whatever, in it, just swinging from side to side, eating pine and drinking pineapple juice. Yeah, you, you know, you, you don't want to be. You don't. You don't want to be housebound at the age of 65, 70. You, you, you know, you've got a pension. You need to. You need to. You need to be worried about how much you spend or whatever, because you know. You live, you're kind of living from paycheck to paycheck when you're on a pension. You need to watch what you spend because your money going to run out and then, yeah? Right, you might have a savings or whatever. You don't want to be like that. Yeah? No disrespect to that man, yeah? But I see elder people like that and I think to myself, right, I can't be like these people, yeah? So all of this electrician stuff like that, fuck that, yeah? As a nine to five working as an employee, electrician, fuck that. Not interested. Not interested. When I was 22, 23 or whatever, when I was working at Holmes Harringay, Harringay Council, I came out of my office and there was an older man that worked at the company. Nice guy, cool guy. Me, I'm the type of person, when I walk around, I look like I'm miserable or whatever, in here, but I'm not. I'm actually happy inside, but I look like I'm miserable in it. Like I've got screw face in it, tough face. In it. Came out of the office and he was standing outside and he looked at my face and I looked like I was grumpy or miserable. He said, oh, don't worry. Just 40 more years of this and you'll be free. Because he's assuming I'm 20 something, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm assuming, I, I think retirement in this country for men is 65. I'm sure they're pushing it up as well to 70 because obviously human beings are living longer. But I'm sure in this country, let's let's say uh, retirement age is 65, right? Now, he's assuming, yeah, I'm not even 25 yet. And I weren't at the time anyway. So retirement age is 65. And he's probably just thinking, yeah, he's in his mid-20s or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, don't worry. You've only got 40 years left of this and you'll be free. Because the thing with the council thing as well, the reason why people get roped into it, right? and they work there forever, it's because people go in there with this notion that working for the council is a job for life. No, yeah, it is, but you don't want to be. You don't want to be working there. You don't want to be working at no place for the rest of your life. Yeah? I know a man who started off at the council at age 16. They've been working there for 36 years. They told me this three years ago. So probably 39 years now, if he's still there, he will retire from there. You know, you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like that. So when I'm at work, or when I was at work before, especially for Holmes Harringay, because I said, I used to think like this from way back in the day. That's why I'm, I'm upset with myself that I only started it now. But at the end of the day, it's best to start now rather than start tomorrow or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But even when I was at Holmes Harringay five years ago, three, four years ago, I used to look at some of the older guys who were electricians and I used to think to myself, nah, I need to get off. Whatever path I'm traveling down now, riding down now, I need to get off this path. Because if not, I'm just going to be like these guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I might be head of repairs, earn a hundred grand a year. Guys, a hundred grand a year does seem attractive and does seem appealing. But guys, I'm telling you, you don't want to be on no salary. Yeah, you don't want no one, no boss, yeah, calling you up or whatever, in it. Yeah, a hundred grand a year does sound good, but trust me, you don't want to be on no salary, man. Right? There's man making millions, millions a year. That hundred grand a year that you're earning, or these people are earning, there's man making that in a month. Trust me, you don't want to be one of these people on a salary, man.